from Paramount Pictures, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Amen. Amen. And, now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I can't believe this. I mean, George Clooney, he does not have to bow down to anybody. He can get any woman he wants, married or single, with few exceptions. I'm, I'm sure there's a woman out there who'll say, I don't think he's all that special, but the vast majority of women would do George Clooney in a second. And I, they'd leave their husbands, they'd leave their husbands for the night, they'd leave their boyfriends, they would cheat, they would lie, they would do whatever they had to do to have sex with George Clooney. I really believe that. I do. So listen to this story from a website called entertainmentwise.com. It largely quotes a story from the London newspaper, the Daily Mirror. Here it is. A British single mom has spoken out about her four-month secret affair with Hollywood heartthrob George Clooney. <sighs> Sarah Talley spoke to the Daily Mirror in detail about the affair, claiming that Clooney swept her off her feet and offered her a real taste of Hollywood lifestyle. The pair, who met at the Spearmint Rhino in Las Vegas, <laughs> does that figure, <laughs> where Sarah was a lap dancer, hit it off straight away, it says here. This is... A British website. We wouldn't say hit it off straight away, but they say things like that. Yes, she said he was sweet and non-offensive. He liked that I was British, and we talked about home a lot. We talked about his place in Lake Como, Italy, and he invited me and my friends there for the summer. He was respectful and didn't even ask for a dance. By the way, is lap dancing really dancing? How did it get that name? <laughs> I guess because grinding on your jock sounded like something that they could prosecute for, so lap dance. Sounds so harmless. Lap dance. Then the story goes on to say, when questioned about sex, with what the article calls the World's most eligible bachelor. Here's what Sarah Talley supposedly said. She said, he made me feel like a woman. He told me I was beautiful. Kissed all down my neck and made me tingle. It was all I hoped it would be and more. Then the person who wrote the piece, a female, of course, said, thanks, Sarah. After this interview, I think half the female population will be left tingling as well. Now, come on. If you're George Clooney and you can have any woman in the world, I don't care about the spearmint rhino, whatever. Uh, first of all, you know my attitude about strippers. Let's start with that. But that's beside the point. Why would you be with a single mother? Why? You're George F. and Clooney. Why would you do that? You know, single mothers are for poor guys. Single mothers are for uneducated guys. Single mothers are for guys who have lousy jobs, who don't have educations. Single mothers are for guys who can't get somebody without that baggage. George Clooney's not one of those people. 
every woman out there loves George Clooney. With obviously, there's exceptions to everything, but I, I think those women are insane. I, uh, frankly, I don't know why every woman would uh, would not want to jump into the sack with George Clooney. Why not? Jesus. So why, of all people, would George Clooney be with a single mother? I don't. I don't understand. I don't care how good she could be in the sack, George. I hope you're keeping it wrapped. If this is true, if this is true, because uh, you don't want to be having a kid. I mean, you, you know, you've made it to this. What is he? Forty-seven years old. You made it to this age without ever knocking anybody up, without ever having to pay child support, far as we know. You own a house in Italy. God only knows where your other houses are. Every woman wants you. Why would you screw it up? I'd love to uh, speak to George Clooney personally and tell him this. Of course, gets the Daily Mirror, which is a London tabloid. Maybe this isn't even true. But if it is true, I would love to talk to him personally. I mean, Mr. Clooney definitely needs a little like us 101 here. He should not be with a single mother. Of all people, George Clooney being with a single mother. Are you kidding me? He's insane, right? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I just think the show is just disgusting today. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. What is George Clooney doing if this story is true? And again, it's from a tabloid in London. Maybe it's not true. But the Daily Mirror says George Clooney has been dating a single mother for four months. Then he met at the experiment Rhino in Las Vegas. Why? Aaron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, this is Aaron. I'm one of your 101 followers in Dallas. There's a group of us here that listen to you every day. Cool. I think Clooney's lost his effing mind, dude. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. That's right. Why would you date a stripper? Clooney can get any woman in the world. Right. I just want to say, man, I agree with you all the way. He's got to be kidding. If this is true, he's got to be kidding. He's lost his mind, man. Yes. And I just wanted to say, I love your show. We listen every day. And Dallas, Texas supports the 101, man. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Thank you for that, Aaron. I appreciate the call. Here's Zach on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Zach. <laughs> What's going on, man? Long time listener, first time caller. Thank I you. Just, uh, no problem, man. I just wanted to say you're 100% right about the single mom thing. They're completely damaged goods, in other words. I love my mom to death, but hey, she's a single mom. You know, ever since, you know, that first divorce, my mom, sorry, my dad's been married about five times. Mom, zero. Has had 25, 30 boyfriends that she met at the Cowboy Palace in Chatsworth. They've all contributed something to the house, but but not a wedding ring, man. Oh, of course. You know, they, they, I can go in the backyard, I could point to to a tree and say, this one planted it, I could point to a fence and say, oh, yeah, I remember him. He used to wear the, the cowboy hat a lot. <laughs> yeah, you remember all the guys your mom brought home, and she brought a lot of them home, too, right? Oh, yeah, completely. Yeah. You know, you can't, any of these dingy bars, you see, and it, every one of the women you meet in there all have kids, 100%. Yep, yeah, that's why you don't want to be looking at dingy bars, for God's sake. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom uh, George Clooney is he dating a single mother? Are you kidding me? That he met in a strip club? Come on, John. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, Tom. Hey, John. Hey, check it out. I I think George Clooney's fine with it, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm dating a woman right now, and she's got a couple kids. She's about six years older than me, and. All she wants all the time is sex, and it's just fine. That's all she wants. And so she gets it, and then I leave. What happens if the condom leaks? Well, it's not going to leak. Pal. Condoms have about a 5% failure rate. Well, you know, I mean, I make sure I'm careful, you know. What Uh, happens if... that's, That's true. What happens if it does? 
Well, she'll get an abortion. Oh, really? You've talked to her about that. Uh, she says she doesn't want any more kids. I don't. They all say that. Well, definitely. She does not want any more kids. She has never asked me for a dime. She's never asked me for anything but sex. Really? Yeah. But that John, that she could very well get pregnant, and, and and you do not know what she would do. We already know what she did in the past when she got pregnant. What makes you think it would be any different now? I don't know. I don't, well, I mean, it could be that way for uh, for any woman, right? You know, if you're no. uh, your condom leaks, you know, what are you going to do? Well, but here's the thing. A woman who already has kids, you already know what she'll do if she gets pregnant. Well, she's made them mistakes. Well, well, I see what you're saying. Yeah. She says that she doesn't want to make that mistake again. You know, it would be I know. As she says she doesn't want to, but, 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 but listen to the language she's using. She doesn't want to make that mistake again. Yeah. She's not saying I won't make that mistake again, or I got my tubes tied. Maybe uh, I should bring that up. I should say, you know what? If you don't want to get kids again, you ought to get your tubes tied. Which she won't, because you know what? She does want to have kids again, and that's why she uses language like that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, I bet, uh, I bet this woman who uh, who did it with George Clooney, of course, she was, you know, she's looking uh, to get some money. I'm sure, if it ever happened. Yeah. Well, look at the guy. All right, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Thank you, thank, thank you for that. By the way, I hate to, uh, I hate to bring up something that's not on the subject, but I just happened to notice this. Uh, I, I have a, a message for all the uh, muggers. All the gangbangers, all the troublemakers out there. Um, here in L.A., one of our baseball teams is going to be having a uh, sleepover on the field at Dodger Stadium. And uh, you can go sleep out there on the field. I won't say which team it is, but it's at Dodger Stadium. And uh, that's right. You can sleep on the field. I, I, what are they going to do, turn the lights off? That's good. So... <laughs> <laughs> you just have to wonder who's going to show up for that. Besides the families and the the good people who are just out there to have a good, squeaky clean, family fun time. Who else is going to show up there? Just, just wondering out loud. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What up, Tom? Not much, Dave. Hey, man, love the show. Uh, I do think you got some things a little bit skewed, but for the most part, I think you got some pretty good views. Wanted to comment on George Clooney. I think the guy is either completely nuts or completely in love. Yeah, but how did he fall in love? I don't know. But, you know, I, I think about Clooney. He's a pretty, well, he comes across as a pretty smart guy and pretty well together, but I can't imagine him just going off on a whim and just getting crazy with this stripper. So I have to, like, I, I would think that he's, he's got to be in love. Something about this girl's really got him, you know, really got him in love. I mean, what do you think? Well, I, I, still, you can control who you're in love with. And you get all that money, and you're George Clooney. You don't have to fall in love with some stripper who is also a uh, single mother. Well, I mean, you might be able to control who you're in love with, but that's probably not true love. True love, I'm sure, is not. you can't control it. Uh, <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> well, you can to a certain extent, but it's not true love. Because if it's true I, love... I'm going to tell you right now, I would not find love at a strip club. That well, yeah, probably not. I've been to strip clubs, you. but I've been to strip clubs. Uh, the women are always very nice to me, always coming up to me, always fawning all over me because that's their job. Yeah, well, they're people, and beyond their job, they're. I'm sure they have a life. I'm sure they have a personality. I can't imagine that every one of them are evil. And I'm, I'm not sure saying they're, they're doing it just for the money. They're not all evil, but if you've got the resources of somebody like George Clooney, why would you want to take a risk yeah. that she's going to get her hand into your vault? Yeah, that's true. Well, see that you got a good point there, but yeah, I don't know, man. To tell you honest, I I, I more think he's in love than he's crazy, but. You, you're right. I mean, he if he he's taking he's take 
if he's not really in love, he's taking a big risk, man, because that girl will take him to the cleaners. Well, that would be my belief, too. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Claudia on the Tom Likas show. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Tom. Hi, Claudia. Hi, lover. <laughs> oh. I love you. Really? Yeah, a lot. Ooh, come down here and show me, dear. Oh, I want to, but I can't. Oh. You know, it's like, I used to listen to you, and I hated you. And then I started listening to you, and then, you know, you kind of got that bad boy thing going on. So yes. I was listening. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad boy, all right. Yeah, I know. And you know what? I guess deep down, I really do like bad boys. I know you do, dear. Anyway, I'm calling about George Clooney. By the way, as long as you've got an ass cheek, there'll always be an open palm with your name on it. Oh, i got a cute little little ass cheek for you at a kiss. But... <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm a I'm a I'm a fun girl. Anyway, um, you know George Clooney's slumming. That's what it is. That's all it is. And he's probably being super careful. And I honestly think he's going to dump her very soon. He he has no consistency with women. He was married once and didn't care for it. And he's not going to get married again to a stripper. He's totally slumming. I well, for me, he is. Yeah. I mean, what kind of element are you seeing there? I mean, yeah, they're beautiful and they're perfectly built, but what's going on inside? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Of course it's right. Yes. Yeah, so he's totally summoned. He's going to dump that ass and dump, wait, how, how do you say it? Dump that dump bitch. Dump that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to dump that bitch real soon and... You know, what's to him, uh, you know, $100,000 a year? What's to him, you know, if he does get her pregnant, knocked up, whatever? Who knows? It might not be $100,000 a year. Which yeah, rap? Right. Who's the rapper? Which is the rapper who's paying $35,000 a month? Um, all of them, baby daddy, all of them. <laughs> what, it, what, was it P. Diddy who's, who's, who's paying $35,000 a month? That's chump change to him, though. And it's all relative, babe. And the whole fight was based on he was paying child support to somebody else, and she wanted to get as much as the other woman was getting. Yeah, you know what? These women give um, people like me a bad name. Really, really, they do, and I hate that. But oh well, sad. that's our sex. What am I going to do? I know. Thank you, Claudia. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. He's our telephone number. Mike on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, what's up? Doing okay. Doing, Good. Hey, check this out. Um, it's one of those things for uh, for George Clooney. I mean, like you say, he's George F. and Clooney. What he's going to do is, I mean, he's, it's an adventure for him. You know, he's going out. He's just playing the field. It's nothing serious. He knows what he's doing. I mean, he's George Clooney. Well, I mean, that and, doesn't mean he knows what he's doing. I mean, uh, again, I, uh, I, he's a smart guy. He's a successful guy. He's got plenty of money. Uh, and uh, just about every woman I've ever known wants to have sex with him. So on yeah. that basis, why wouldn't he be picking from the cream of the crop? Why would he be digging down into a strip club for a single mother? Just because, I mean, he's not going to throw that away. I mean, you, you you know what he's got. We all know what he's got. But he can get anybody he wants. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, maybe he didn't want this to get out. Maybe they, if you go on that uh, website. With that, it's not a matter of getting, uh, getting out. I'm sure he doesn't want to get it out. But the point is... It's not that he knows it, and and why would he want to? I mean, look, if I were dating a single mother, would I want you to know about it? Well, you know, I'd have a hard time hiding it because I'm a public person. But the big concern would not be whether you found out about it. The big concern would be what about what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know, but like I say, I think he's, he'll get over it. It's just one of those. It's just like I say, it's just an adventure. Maybe it's just like instead of buying a new car, he's going to try a stripper. I, I don't know. But I think he's got it under control, and I, I think he, in a couple of months, he's probably going to go on and uh, say what a dirtbag he is. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he just used her. I mean, he, he's not going to take something like that. And, well, the thing is, if that condom leaks yeah. and George Clooney Jr. is on his way, then he's in trouble. You know what I'm talking about. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Dustin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Tom. Dustin. How's it going? Doing great. Hey, um, the whole thing with the George Clooney, you know, I think, like the last guy said, you know, he's going to write it off. I hope he's wearing protection if he's doing her, because if he's not, like, I, like you said, there's going to be another George Clooney. I mean, sure, everybody's going to like another George Clooney, but... That's later on down, and also, you know, he's just he's got way a lot, he's got a lot of a lot for him right now. You know, he made Ocean's Eleven through Thirteen. Now he's got that casino over in Vegas coming up. He's got so much coming up right now. And when are they going to make the prequel of uh, o- o- Ocean's One? Are they going to do that? <laughs> I don't know because what happened to Ocean's One through Ten? Right. That's they what got, I'm wondering. Yeah, I mean, who knows? But. I just, if he marries this woman, I am going to laugh my ass. I, can I say ass on the radio? If he marries any woman, I'm going to laugh my ass off. I'll tell you what. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Now, as you know on our program, by the way, let's start with this. The story about George Clooney came out of the Daily Mirror, which is a tabloid in England. I don't know, honestly. Uh, for sure that the story is true. I'm going to tell you flat out. It's a tabloid story from England. And uh, we know the history of tabloids and, and what they do. Okay, So this whole conversation is predicated upon believing that the story is true. If you believe the story is true, then we can have this conversation. But maybe it isn't true. Okay. On top of that, when callers call a radio program like this, anybody can make up a fake name and call up and claim anything. You understand, people can call up and say anything, and you have no way of checking because they're anonymous, and they know you'll never find them. People can make up the most amazing stories, and so you have to take everything people call in with with a grain of salt on this program. Anybody can claim they know famous people. They can make claims about being somebody's neighbor. They can make claims about somebody's sexual orientation, and how would you ever check? So... Be a good consumer of talk radio, and remember uh, that callers like the next caller I'm about to take, you don't know if what they're saying is true. You have no way of knowing. But I'm not a censor. If this caller wants to go out and say this, I'll let him say it, but you have to take it with a grain of salt. Frank on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. Hello, son. Happy belated Father's Day. Why, thank you, Frank. You're welcome. I had a comment. I was, I am a DJ in a Scottsdale topless bar, and Mr. Clooney um, is a regular and has been for many years, and he really, really likes strippers. He enjoys their company. He enjoys the conversation he has with them. He enjoys his table dances. He listens to, enjoys the whole experience. On many occasions, he has invited more than a half dozen girls back to his hotel, which he just parties, has a couple drinks, and really doesn't hit on anyone in particular really hard. He's a very nice professional, and he's just a really cool guy, and just in, has always enjoyed strippers and strip clubs. I don't even I don't even understand that. Well, I, I worked in this business a long time, and there's nothing really... There's a couple things wrong with single moms. There's a couple things wrong with dancers, but there's a couple things wrong with everybody, you know? No, 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 but there's there's some more problems at strip clubs, and I've been around more strippers than most, not because I go to strip clubs, mm-hmm. but because I work in a business where chicks come on stage and take their clothes off uh, in front of uh, listeners, okay? And um, all I can say is that, uh, uh, you know, everybody's got to make a living. But uh, over the years, and I'm talking about going back my whole career in this business, when I have met people who are strippers, Mm -hmm. there's an inordinate number of them who are single moms or they uh, are married to abusive people uh, or or they are lesbians or junkies. There's more of that than at your average office, let's say. Well, most of those girls, the lower you go to the crappier clubs, you know, the C and D clubs, the A and B clubs who hire to some of the younger girls who are single and are not single mothers and are maybe college students, those are the clubs that I work at, and those are the clubs that he hangs out at, not the drug addict girls, not the, you know, the uh, girls that come in with black eyes, not those girls at all. These are high-class, Scottsdale, beautiful girls. Well, how would you define high-class in the stripper business? <laughs> um, 
No bruises on their body. No, no bruises. Stitches. <laughs> stitches, no bruises. This is a high-class gentleman's club. The women have no bruises. Well, let's hope they don't have any bruises. No stitches. <laughs> Scars on their knees. <laughs> Anyway, Tom, I enjoy the show. By the way, do you have a full-time person who cleans that pole off? <laughs> um, that would be the doorman. Really? Yes, it would be. What does he uh, does he use Windex? What does he use on that? They they use a, a pine saw. It's a pine saw. Pine saw. It's a well, life saw disinfectant. I tell you what, I feel bad for some of those girls sliding down that pole. That's going to stink. Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. Howdy, Tom. Howdy. I think you're an idiot. Damn. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, from the lot of Paramount Pictures, it's the Tom Likas Show. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. I don't know if I believe this story or not, but uh, we're talking about it for the sake of argument here. Story in the London Daily Mirror says that George Clooney secretly has been dating a uh, single mom for the past four months. And he met as a stripper at the Spearmint Rhino in Las Vegas. It's like, if that's true, why would George Clooney, who can have any woman he wants, why would he be with somebody like that? Gabrielle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi, it's Gabrielle. I know, I just said that. Oh, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Um, the reason I'm calling is because you have a lot of callers that are saying that, you know, uh, George Clooney is just slumming and so forth. And I, I, I disagree. I think there's real concern here. And if you think about his good friend uh, and co-star, Matt Damon, um, who was a bachelor for a long time, dropped Minnie Driver on the Oprah Winfrey show and dated Winona Ryder, he uh, started dating a bartender um, and who was a single mother and impregnated her. And ended up marrying her after she was pregnant. So uh, I don't think it's as far-fetched as some of the callers are saying. And he was recently on uh, Jay Leno, and he talked about how on the set, you know, um, of Ocean's 13, everybody was bringing their kids and so forth. So maybe he's, you know, actually feeling like he needs to also be part of that group. But I don't think it's as far-fetched as everybody's saying. And if you compare him to, to Matt, I, maybe there's some real concern here. Would you really want to have a baby with a stripper? Uh, no, or or a bartender. <laughs> if I was, a, you know, a multimillionaire. A Mommy, baby, how did Daddy and you meet? Exactly, exactly. But I don't think that it's, um, I don't think that it's as far-fetched. I mean, again, if you have to look at Matt Damon as an example, um, you know, probably a poor example is Brad Pitt with Angelina Jolie, who's a single mother because she's the most beautiful woman in the world, but... You know, it also seems to be a trend right now with these people in Hollywood. So, I mean, you can't discount that. Unbelievable. Gabrielle, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Brandon, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Uh, so, anyways, I've, I've been dating this stripper, and uh, every time she comes home, she never wants to put out. She's too tired. She works Tuesdays and Thursdays. And, like, I, I, what should I do? You're 18. Why are you living with a stripper? Yeah. I said... She's got one kid. That's a sentence with a question mark at the end. Why are you living with a stripper? Uh, because uh, I got kicked out about six months ago out of my house. And so I met her, and she said it would be cool. So let me understand. Her. Your parents threw you out... And so a stripper said, come on, move in with me. Yeah. So you did. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, the only thing I could do at that time. Oh, what can you do now? Nothing. Like, this is the best I got right now. So you can't find a place to live? Nope. Don't have the money to. She's uh, supporting me right now with all her money. She's supporting you? Yep. <laughs> Why is she supporting you? Um, She's just supporting me until I can get my be on the ground and, like, getting a job and finding my own place. Well, as long as you're flat on your back, your feet will never be on the ground. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah totally. So what is your question? Um, what should I do? Like, how, like, if she comes home late and she she's not really putting out, what what is the solution that I can, like, 
see like. Well, what can you do? You're you're, you're living there because you need uh, a stripper to pay your bills. Yep. By the way, Brandon, why were you thrown out? Um, because I got in a huge fight with my dad about like paying insurance, like paying for all this stuff, and I didn't have the money, and we got a huge argument. So, why don't you have money, Brandon? Because I haven't been able to find a steady steady job, and like I've been through a lot of interviews, and I just can't seem to land them. And what about your 18? Why aren't you in college, son? I'm I'm starting at MCC in about uh, three months. So. I see. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I'm starting. Ar I'm studying architecture right now. So that means you want to be an architect. Yep. All right. Okay. But you live with a stripper in the meantime. Yeah. And uh, the reason you can't get a job, do you have any idea why they're not hiring you? Um, maybe my background. I, I've been trying so hard, and it's just not working out for me. What do you mean your background? What about your background? Um, got a couple criminal things behind my back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now of course, now we find out uh, what's really going on here. What yeah, did you do? <laughs> what did you do um, in the past? Shoplifting. <laughs> shoplifting. Yeah. Why were you shoplifting, Brandon? Because I had no money. Because you had no money. Nope. Mm -hmm. And you got caught shoplifting. What else did you do? Um, that's pretty much it. Like you uh, said, you had a couple of things on your record. Uh, <laughs> couple speeding tickets. Um, um, stole from a couple friends. <laughs> you stole from your friends. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And now you're living with a stripper. Yep. Now, Brandon, do you see how far you've fallen? Yes, I have. Why are you such a loser? I don't know. It's just how am I? I don't know. It's just how my life's going right now. That's how your life's going right now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're a loser. Yep. Okay. Live it up, Brandon. <laughs> That's who lives with a stripper. There you go, right there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How Hello. you doing, man? I'm doing great, David. All right. Uh, this is kind of a conversation that goes in line with um, the, the guy you're talking about right now, the movie star, and uh, the topic you were talking about earlier. You've never actually put an age limit on the children. See, I'm 38 years old. I'm dating a 33-year-old woman who has an 18-year-old son. Do you see any complications with that going on? Yeah, she could still get pregnant at 33. Oh, yeah, I know. But with, with the ages that we are now, they, you're talking about be, uh, single mothers and everything like that. She's no longer a single mother. Her kid's almost out of the house. She's still a single mother. The kid's not living with her. But that doesn't mean she can't become a mother again. No, I, I understand that. It's, it's just you never actually put an age limit on the kids. and Everything's protected. Um, she, I think she's going through menopause right now, but, you know. At 33? Yeah, it seems like it, yeah. Well, was she fully developed at six? I have no idea, but she's pretty big. How do you how do you know she's going through menopause? Um, she that's what she says. Mm-hmm. I mean she she hasn't had her period in like oh God, like three months, something Maybe like that. Maybe she's pregnant with your kid. I don't think so. I I wear a rubber man. It doesn't mean it didn't leak. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Now, here's another person calling in here, and they're going to make some claims. And we don't know if what he says is true. We don't know. You know, people call radio shows and make stuff up all the time. So as I put this caller on the air, take it with a grain of salt. It might be totally bogus. Lee, hello. Hello. Yes. Tom. Yes. How you doing, buddy? Great. Ah, just living the dream. Hey, uh, George is, uh, in defense of George, man, he, he is a great guy, and he's got a uh, good head on his shoulders. And uh, what they failed to mention in the story, and I mean, I don't know if it's true. I didn't see anything with him. I was there. I didn't see anything like that going on. But, uh, uh, I mean, if, if if she did actually hook up with him, I mean, who who's to know when she actually told him she was a single mom? 
Well, once you find out, it's time to go, would you say? Well, yeah, but how do we know when you found out? Maybe he did go. Well, that's possible. And we don't even know if the story's true. That's true. That's true. But isn't that's, uh, uh, isn't Clooney a uh, member of Mensa? I think I read that. Or at least uh, he got a very high IQ. That, that I don't know. Yes. And yeah. um, everybody I've talked to who's met him says he's like, just a great guy, just a great guy to hang fantastic. out with. Everybody says that. Oh, hey, I'm great. not, believe me, I'm not trying to, to diss George Clooney, quite the contrary. Yeah. I'm trying to look uh, out for him. I'm hoping. <laughs> well, I heard the story, I was surprised. You know, it just, it doesn't, uh, kind of doesn't fit into his, uh, his M.O. Have you heard it other than here, or is this the only place you've uh, heard it? the first time I've heard it. Yeah, well, it's from the uh, Daily Mirror in London. That's the only reason I called, um. But uh, no, he's he's great, and uh, he's great to be around. And yeah, he definitely goes out and has a good time. Um, so, uh, you know, I, like I said, I didn't see any, any of that going on. But uh, who knows? I understand, Lee. Thank you for that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, this is Steve on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. You'd make a great stepdad. I've got a really good dad, but you'd make a great stepdad. I'll bet I would. <laughs> hey, I think you answered your own question with uh, talking about him having the uh, choice of the cream of the crop. I think at, uh, with the cream of the crop comes, he has to work too hard because they're, they're at the same social status as he is. He's not going to get by with any $40 dates and, and three-date rule. He goes into a strip club. They're all going to have the the, the same good looking body. It's just not. They're not going to have the social status. They're going to be. Uh, they're going to be overwhelmed by him. And oh, Julia Roberts. He's going to tell her to drop to drop to her knees, and she's going to tell him to drop dead. Well, he does not have to be with a famous actress. By the way, Julia Roberts is married and has kids. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't you know have to I'm be with, there. He doesn't have to be with Julia Roberts. He can have somebody half her age. Yeah, but with the uh, with going in with a stripper and that, he's going to get somebody with a primo bod that is just going to uh, treat him godlike, and he's not going to have to worry about anything. It's not going to be any effort at all for him, and he can uh, worry about the uh, who he marries and the social status at some later date. <laughs> Thank you for that. Tim on the Tom Likas Show, hello. How are you doing today, Tom? Doing okay, Tim. That's good. I have a question for you. I've listened to you off and on for a while, and uh, I've heard do not date single women. Do not date but, single mothers. Or Okay, yeah, single mothers, okay. But I've never really heard you say too much about whether you should bang single mothers. No. No, never bang them. No. Okay. Be, not unless your sperm count is zero and you can prove it. Okay, and uh, under that point in time, it's okay. Yeah, in fact, I wouldn't tell them I'd had a vasectomy. I'd just go for it, for God's sake. Amazing story about George Clooney here, just amazing. Well, who knows? Maybe it's just another tabloid story. Maybe it's not true. You know, as a, as a guy, I root for George Clooney. Anybody who's uh, got access to that much tail, good for him. Good for him. Hey, thank you, everybody, for calling in this hour. We appreciate it. Uh, I want you to make a note of this. It's our email address. Uh, our email address is my name. It's tom at blowmeuptom.com. That's tom at blowmeuptom.com. You can write me anytime. I'd love to hear from you. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Keep in mind also that we've got a website, and uh, most importantly, besides keeping up with what we're doing on the show, you can hear our show every day live as it streams from 3 to 8 p.m. Pacific time. All you have to do is go to blowmeuptom.com. That's blowmeuptom.com. There's a listen live button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. If you click on it, you can hear the show live anytime you want to. So if you can't hear it on the radio, go to blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.